simplify if possible 2 minus the absolute value of 3 minus 7 all of that squared we know that the rules that we use to simplify a, an expression, a mathematical expression, is abbreviated by the acronym PEMDAS. Which is uh, grouping symbols first, parentheses, then exponents, then multiply or divide, multiply and divide I should say, as the uh, multiply and divide occur from left to right. And then we move on to add and subtract as all those two operations also occur from left to right as we read the expression from left to right. So what I do is I know that I circle, I'm going to circle everything as we read from left to right. Uh, we have minus that's subtraction. I'm going to circle all the operations that this expression has. Then we run into absolute value which actually appears as a step one you know, operation because it's a, it acts as a grouping symbol. Absolute value acts as a grouping symbol. So it's a step one operation up there with parentheses and brackets. Now as soon as I circle the step one operation which is in the first group, parentheses, I actually come over here and I open up another PEMDAS, a little smaller PEMDAS, to identify all the operations that occur between the absolute value symbols, between the grouping symbols. It's in here that I would circle another operation of subtract. And then over here we're going to treat this like the overall PEMDAS, overall overall PEMDAS and this one's going to be the one for what's going on between the grouping symbols. Now the last one in the overall scheme of things that we haven't identified yet is this exponent so we're going to circle that in the overall PEMDAS. Okay. So first things first we're going to work these from top to bottom generally from top to bottom. We're first thing we hit is absolute value in a step one. We come over and we look at this PEMDAS right here and say what's going on between the absolute value bars. In other words, we're waiting to deal with subtraction later and exponents later. First we've got to go to this in between PEMDAS, what's going on in between the two absolute value bars. So we go ahead and do that subtraction first. We're doing the operations that occur between absolute value uh, grouping symbols. If I have three dollars but I owe somebody seven, I come out owing four dollars. Then I copy all the symbols that are around that absolute value and cross out this subtraction. Then we go back to our overall. The subtraction's done. We go back to our overall PEMDAS. It's organizing our problem for us, the simplified problem. And go ahead and actually take the absolute value of negative four the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. Absolute value returns a positive result. Now the absolute value is done. I copy down all the symbols that are around the result of that uh, absolute value operation and we move on now. From absolute value we come down to exponents. We're not going to do the subtract because that's later. We're going to do the exponent of 2 on the base of 4. So 4 is our base. We should see a total of two of them with multiplying between. That is the fundamental property of exponents. And go ahead and multiply those two fours together to make 16. Don't forget we still got all this this 2 in the subtraction. It's out to the outside of this exponent operation. Now we're done. We combine the two fours. The exponent operation is done. And what we naturally finish with here now is subtract. This is saying that uh, we have two dollars because you know it's easy to think money. The two is positive. The 16 we treat like a negative 16 
it's it's a positive thing to have money we have two dollars but we owe somebody sixteen when we combine these we uh, still owe someone fourteen dollars so we come up to the answer choices and we make the proper selection is B.